Good morning, Husky Pops and kindergarten friends. Welcome back. It's Mrs. Chamberlain with your daily math game. And I have my helper with me. And who remember my helper, my little Miss Shelby. Shelby, can you tell them hi? Hi. All right, and we're gonna start with our math fluency, and then I'm gonna talk about this number bond with the number nine behind me, okay? All right, so here's what I'm gonna do. We're gonna see if you can tell me the answers before I let Shelby answer, okay? So, all right, ready? Here we go. Five minus four is? One. Good. Ready? Here comes the next one. Five minus one is? Four. Good. Five minus five is? Zero. So far, so good. Five minus zero is? Five. Five minus three? Two. And five minus two? Three. Very good. She should know though, she's in first grade. All right, so yesterday you decomposed the number nine with Mrs. Bates. I have a number nine up here and it's in my number bond. And at the end of her video, she showed you how to play a game called guess the covered number, right? The number that's missing. So they had a little cup on there and they took some away and then you had to figure out what number was missing. How many did you need under that cup, okay? We're gonna play the same game today, but I wanted to show you how you could play it at home, okay? Now we're gonna be using this number bond a lot. So that's why I just wrote mine on a big piece of paper and I'm gonna have numbers on a sticky note, okay? So you can put your numbers on a sticky note, you put numbers on a card just so you could move them around, but we're gonna put the numbers on there. So we have nine. Let's count backwards, help me count backwards, friends. Eight. Seven, six, they're stuck, <laughs> five, four, three, remember put them somewhere over here, two, one, and zero. Those are all the numbers I may need to use to put in for my parts, okay? Now, the next thing you're gonna need to this is you're gonna need some counters. And you might remember how I use coins for counters. You can, you too can use coins for counters and you'll be able to do this on your floor. I just have to do it on here. But if you look here, remember I had coins for counters? I have nine quarters here that we could have used, but Look what happens if I show you what I was doing. Oh, all the quarters would slide off. So I can't use quarters for you. Instead, I'm gonna have counters that are on a little board like this. So you'll be able to see my counters, okay? And then you'll need a cup so that mom and dad can hide some of those counters and you have to figure out what the two parts are of nine, okay? So we're gonna do an easy one first. I'm gonna let Shelby show you how we do it and then we'll do a couple more, we'll go a little faster, and then you can play the game with your moms and dads, okay? All right, so how many are we starting with, Shelby? Nine. Nine, let's make sure that Mrs. Chamberlain has nine, okay? Help me out, friends. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine. Right, so you could count them to make sure I have nine, but we know another way to make nine, don't we? What's another way we know to make nine, Shelby? Five and then four. Five and then four, because she sees it in a five group way, and she knows that nine is five and four more. Good. All right, are you ready to play the game, Shelby? Yep. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hide this from her so she can't see how many I'm taking away. She's gonna close her eyes, because that's what you'll probably have to do when your mom and dad play, but I can just turn the board, because she can't see my board. And I'm gonna take some off, and they're in my cup. She can't see my cup, okay? So now, I'm gonna show her the counters. What's the first thing you're gonna have to figure out, Shelby? Oh, 
how many you took away. Do you have to figure out how many I took away first, or do you have to figure out how many I have first? How many I have. Yeah, we got to figure out how many did Mrs. Chamberlain show you? How many do we have first? So, Shelby, how many are we? do we have right now? Six. Six. So, can you put the six in the first part? Because that's what we have. We have six. All right, so we have six. And so now we got to figure out that missing number, that missing part. So really, we're looking at nine minus six to figure out how many are there. So how do we figure out, how do we get there to figure out how many are there, Shelby? She's thinking in her head, I can tell. But I'm looking at this. There are how many spots? There are... Six. six and I need to get to nine so I'm gonna put six in my head this is what we did when we did addition six ooh, seven eight nine how many counters are hidden in mrs. Chamberlain's cup Shelby three three let's see if she's right are you ready I'm gonna pull them out of my cup one two Three, so she is right. So my other part on my number bond is three. three. So this tells me that nine minus six equals three, or nine minus three equals six. Either way, nine can be broken to six and three. Pretty cool. Let's try another one. All right, Shelby, you take those off while I take some of these counters off. Remember, we're starting with nine. Okay. All right, so we're starting with nine. Are you ready, Shelby? Yep. So how many do we see? Four. Four. All right, so she's going to put up four. So four and some other number going to give me that nine. So four. Hmm. How many do you think Shelby are missing? Five. She thinks five. Let's see if she's right. Are you ready? So we have one, two, three, four, five. She's right. So Shelby put the other part in. And what do we have? Nine minus four equals five. That was the missing number. Good. All right, Shelby, move those up. Again, we're starting with nine. I'm gonna take some of those away. Ooh, are you ready? <gasps> oh. How many are showing? Two. Just two. So Shelby's gonna put up her first part, which is two. All right, she's got her first part up, that's two. Ooh, how many are missing to make nine? Seven. She thinks seven, let's find out. Let's see if she's right, are you ready? Here we go. One. Two, three, four, whoops, five, six, seven. So our next part is seven. I took seven away, so nine minus seven gave me two. Pretty cool. You want to try another one? Yeah. All right, so fix those. Again, we're starting with nine, boys and girls. So I'm going to take some away. I'm going to make this one really tricky. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. So nine's my hole. How many do I have? One. I only have one. So she's going to put the one up. Nine minus one. How many are in my cup? Eight. 
eight. She thinks eight. Let's see if she's right. Are you ready? So we have one up here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, there one more. There is eight. So nine minus one equals equals eight. There you go. Let's try one more. Okay, we'll do one more. All right, so again, we're starting with nine. All right, I'm going to take some away. You think I can stump her? I'm going to do this one, and then we'll try it. See if we can do a crazy one to stump her. <laughs> All right, how many do we have here, Shelby? Five. Five. All right, she's going to put the five up. So how many, Shelby, are in my cup? Four. She thinks four. Let's see. One, two, three, four. She's right. So that's a game you can play with your moms and dads. And let's see if I can stump Shelby, okay? All right, are you ready, Miss Shelby? Yeah. All right, I'm going to stump her. Are you ready? We start with nine. I put some in my cup. Huh, they're not in a five-group way. Three. I have three. Didn't stump her with that part because she could count. Let's see if she can figure out what the missing number is. Oop, that comes over here. Let's see if she can figure out what the missing number is. There's three. So, Shelby, how many are in my cup? Six. I don't know if she's right. We'll find out. But I'm going to slide this up here. Three and one, two, three, four. What? Mm -hmm. <laughs> four. Five. Six. She was right. Put your six up. Couldn't stump Miss Shelby. Good job. Thanks for playing, Shelby. If you didn't want to make all of these fancy dancy pieces that you can move around, you could have your moms and dads write it on a piece of paper like this. And then you could draw the circles and things in. So this says nine and four. I have five, so nine minus five, what's gonna be my hidden number? This is where you could practice drawing it, and if you don't have counters you wanna use, you can draw the nine, just like we've been doing, and then you can cross off five, and you have one, two, three, four left, so you know the missing number or the hidden number is four, okay? So you could do them just like that. Maybe you could finish these ones, finish those, and you could show your teacher how you did them by taking a picture when it's all done and sending it to her so she can see you've been practicing. All right, boys and girls. All right, let's end it real quickly. Let's do those math flash flashcards real fast this time. We're gonna see how fast Shelby can do them. Are you ready? Whoop, we got numbers falling from the sky. <laughs> all right, are you ready? We're gonna see how fast she can do them. See if you can do them as fast as her or maybe you'll be faster than her. Ready? Five minus two equals? Three. Five minus three equals? Two. Five minus zero equals? Five. Five minus five equals? Zero. Five minus one equals? Z no. Four. Oh, shoo. <laughs> and five minus four equals one. Good. All right, boys and girls, keep on counting. Have a great day. Say bye. Bye.